Six days before the start of the World Cup, clashes Brazil would rather the world did not see. On the second day of a metro strike in Sao Paulo, venue for the first game, police fire tear gas and stun grenades at protesters. The strike added to congestion on the city's notoriously busy roads. But it couldn't stop fans heading for Brazil's last warm-up game. The tournament and its organisers have not always been popular here. But passion for the men who wear the most famous shirt in football is undimmed. One protest group even called off a planned demonstration at the game out of respect for the national team. Though the police were taking no chances. There's huge excitement here amongst supporters as the World Cup approaches and officials hope that once the football starts, the problems that have dogged the build-up to this tournament will be quickly forgotten. But for FIFA, this World Cup might be the least of their worries. FIFA's executive committee will meet today. It's the first time since new corruption allegations surrounding the award of the 2022 tournament to Qatar. It's been very embarrassing because human nature being what it is, people only believe what they read, don't they? They, they don't look at all of the many good things. Sepp Blatter says he's waiting for the outcome of an independent investigation. But with the Sunday Times promising further revelations, FIFA's reputation is again on the line. For Blatter and Brazil, the real football can't come soon enough. Paul Kelso, Sky News, Sao Paulo.